Let's start from an example. I was browsing for a digital transformation report from Accenture and uh, I got a few slides uh, ready for us to be used. As you can see, we have a slide with the title and a slide with all the contents. Those slides are clearly not presentable, at least they are not compliant to any specific corporate template. To make them compliant manually, it would take some time. However, I'm not going to spend any time redesigning these slides. Why? Because I'm going to use pre-made layouts from our corporate template. This way, I will show you how faster you can go and uh, how better you can make your slides in seconds, really. Be with me, I'll show you. Let's start from the title slide. I right click it, I go layout, and uh, I see that I have a few layouts here. Now, those are the layout that your team is offering to you to choose to make your presentation consistent. Now, which one between these four templates I'm going to use? Well, the first one is, of course, the one that I'm using. I'm going to turn it into this one. Here we go. As you can see, this is much better in terms of design. Now, you might not see it, but I already see that it is coming through. What we just miss here is to fill it with an image. So I'm going to the MLC graphic libraries. As you know, I offer a collection of millions of images of uh, stock free from copyright and uh, completely free to use through the MLC graphic libraries. So let me look for vision, for example. Hmm. Let's see if we find something that we might like. Vision I. All right, here we go. So I will select this one. And uh, it is automatically inserted within my slide. I just reset layout, so I'm sure that the correct color is applied. And I might want to flip this image so that then I can have the eyes looking at the text. Now, the eyes are a bit overlapping with the text, therefore I will have to crop and extend the slide from here. Now, I'm earning some space here for my text to improve the contrast and, of course, to make the text more readable. Done. What else do you want to do? As you can see, it took me just a few seconds. I had to search for an image, yes, but then the slide is ready to be used because I didn't have to think about how to reinvent the layout. The layout was there, was ready, ready to be used. All I had to do was select the correct layout and adapt my contents into it. Do you realize how faster this is? Let me go to something a bit more complex. In this case, we have a lot of contents. But if you look at it carefully, you can clearly identify some keywords, some, somehow a structure out of this wall of text. So let me create a new slide. Let's see which kind of layouts we have available. And we have available this layout here. Now, this layout offers four spots. And guess what? I have post-digital consumers, one, workers, two, threat actors, and market, four. So I can reorganize my contents within this slide in seconds. Look, all I have to do is, first of all, let's take the title. So we could start with a parallel, and then we could highlight digital transformation here. Perfect. Then I just take post digital consumers, copy paste here. Watch out when you copy paste, make sure that you copy paste it as a text so you don't bring with you any text formatting which might be different from the corporate template you're using. Right, so here I have the four categories. Now, 
this is what I would define the second reading layer. And now we go for the third reading layer, which is the third layer that I want people to read when going through my slide. As you can see, I'm collecting keywords. I'm, I'm taking those that have been highlighted by the speaker, so I'm, I must not be wrong. And I'm copy pasting them into my template. Here we go. Now here we have four spots where uh, the templates foresee you to insert some icons. Therefore, I will use my icons collection from MLC graphic libraries always. And here I can look for person, for example. So let's find some consumers. Here we have the consumers. Let's find the worker. Here we have the worker. Oop. Then uh, threads. Okay. So I'm going to use this one and maybe replace it with a danger icon. So I can go here, look for danger. This one. I can ungroup it twice, remember, SVG icons can be ungrouped when working in PowerPoint. This could be the thread. Okay, fine. You see, I created a custom icon. And here I can look for market. A pie chart is perfect to represent the market. All right. Now, all of these could be, could even be green, if you like, to be a bit more consistent with what we're designing. And here you go. Now, look at the before and after. Isn't it completely different and definitely improved? It is. Now, everything I did was adapting contents. I didn't put so much effort into design. Yes, I did color the icons, but come on. I just made them the same green as the rest of the presentation. So as you can see, when you work with the the slide master, when you work with the carpet template, you don't have to spend so much time into design because you will leverage the design that has already been developed for you. All you have to do is being able to access this design and eventually customize it. Now you might tell me, yes, Maurizio, but you already had the layout ready. Yes, I did, and everybody should when having a, a corporate template. And you might tell, yes, but I don't have a corporate template. And I don't have a clue on how to build these layouts. That's completely fine, because in the second video of this series, I'm going to show you how to create custom templates and realize the first layouts within the Slide Master. Now, don't miss the next video. I will post it always here in the event page. So just make sure you don't miss it. If you inserted your email and you allowed notification when uh, joining the event, I will surely notify you by email about the new video coming out. Right, I will just ask you one single thing, which is super important to me before you come to the next video. Leave me a comment below. For me, it's super important to understand whether everything was clear, whether you have more questions, you have some curiosities that I should take in account when shooting the next video. So please, please, please leave me a comment below and I'm looking forward to meeting you at the next video. Ciao!